Uh, welcome back to Eris. Um, we are gonna try to finish this off today, because I think we got like another two hours or so. There's a little more exploration to be done on the surface. Yeah, I've been told you just got space jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. You guys... another, uh, another good argument for starting with a cup of coffee in my hand. <laughs> I have what, space what else jump. did I miss while we were talking about uh, very important things last time? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can jump through enemies now. I did actually see that. <laughs> yeah, now that I have like... Evasion, right? Yep. But space jump makes it a lot easier to notice. And it was in here. Aha, I did pay attention. There was one thing here. I'll take that. Oh, we're going up against you. Dragon soon, so... The more I right. have, the better we will be. How much was in the Super Missile Pack again? Just one. Oh, uh, yeah. Biggest. I think the um, Zero Mission Hard Mode does that, right? Yeah, Zero Mission Hard Mode does uh, two, two missiles in a tank as well. Mm -hmm. So, it's like there is official precedence or um, they took inspira oh, sorry. inspiration yeah. on this game. Zero Mission came out after Fusion, right? Yes, 2004? Yeah, no wait, this is later than Prime, just inspired by Prime, of course. Yeah, never mind. How did you have space jump animation before the power-up itself? Um, I think it's related to having the screw attack, or a form of screw attack, because the evasion power-up that we've been talking about is its replacement. Yeah, the evasion gave you the animation. I noticed that. Yeah. So we're going to go back into the Marble Shrine. About to ask what the plan is? Well, it turns out that Dragon is hiding in here. But also having Space Jump allows us to get to a few new areas. That's usually the case. <laughs> yeah, especially in a game like this, I find. You know, it's, it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, do you see it on the map if a uh, um, room has like a top exit? Because I could see that be an issue. Um, no, at this time, like, you could absolutely do like mini maps, uh, the mini maps where the tiles have um, like door transitions marked on them, but it was not common to do. Mm -hmm. These days it's more common. So once again, it could be an issue with uh, just uh, stuff that is go through that doesn't look go through. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's like, I don't like want this. to invent a problem that isn't there. But oh, oh yeah, okay, never mind, there is one. <laughs> but that's coming back. It's coming back. Oh yeah, okay, good. That's obvious enough. And you know that there must be something in this room so that you can open the artifact. Mm -hmm. Now this is, the, uh, this is the guy that lowers the lava. And okay. it requires space jump to activate. Oh, you can actually see the small logo there. Yeah. yeah. Now there's no lava in this room, but what the other thing that he does is if you jump into the lava in the original and try to say, oh, I'll just skip him, uh, there's actually a block in the way. What he does is oh. he removes a block at a very specific location in the game to let you pass. Ah, oh, that's clever. I didn't even make the connection that this is the lava remover guy because honestly, uh, the end game of Super Metroid I've done like once. Mm -hmm. Like I just didn't play the replay the game that often. Must admit. Right. And that's why it's worth explaining things because people, I, I, I wouldn't expect everybody to know like various bits and pieces of about, about like how the games work. Like, I've yeah. played all of this enough that I just kind of have it in my head a lot of times. Yeah. Like, oh, it's this guy, I need X, Y, or Z. Yeah, and of course, um, even if I had played it like two or three times, it might have been twice, then uh, I wouldn't even know that there is a block that prevents you from sequence breaking the lava because I just didn't try. Yeah, and it's not like you're likely to find that out it's just it's a, like a thing that you discover from playing or from like editing it's like wait a second there's a tile here in why is there a tile here 
This room looks really cool, by the way. Yeah. I think here the, the water effect plus the background, muted color background versus the very clear foreground, that's very well done. You got the little elevator here. <laughs> Is that like an edited, uh, what's it called, R Reaper, Ripper, that uh, doesn't deal damage to you? It, it could be, but I'm thinking it's more likely that it's just that normal guy, but he's got some sort of thing going on with him. Uh, this is all air spikes, apparently. Huh. Obviously. But... Ouch. The evasion does let us jump through carefully, so you basically need space jump here. Yep. It looks terrible, though, to be honest. Like, space jump movement is not really good, in my, in my opinion. Yeah, and sadly I took a lot of damage from the... the other parts. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Hope you're gonna be okay. I hope so too. These guys. Are the name Key Hunter? Yeah. K I, right? K I. Yeah. They're like supposed to be teamed up with the pirates in Super, something like that. I don't remember exactly. Man, if only you could scan them and get some deeper lore information for those interested, huh? Oh, man. It would be a cool idea for a Metroid game. I don't want to go down, because that's a one-way path. And then that's I'll have to go... Like I, say, I, I, I don't want to go down this discussion. It's like, <laughs> okay. Didn't know it was controversial, but okay. <laughs> we'll do a quick recharge here, because, like I said, there's going to be a boss in a moment. Sure. That's very handy, after that gauntlet of pain you just went through. Yeah. Smart design decision. I mean, if this was like a super hardcore hack, uh, which I don't condone, but many people do those, of course, it would be like, yeah, of course you have to dodge perfectly and then have a boss that has its damage tripled, because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> By the way, this room, impossible to tell if it's a platform or not. <laughs> the dark blue is like, come on. Sorry, but this is unreadable. Just want to balance the praise. Mm -hmm. So wow, I really notice on my voice that I am hit by the allergies. I'm going to close the window. <laughs> the mollusk has the Ridley eye. I missed that message. Yeah, that was back in the, the room that time I was saying it looked really nice. Yeah, I also read it too late, so I couldn't go like, oh yeah, which one? <laughs> Sorry. All right. Here's Dragon. Ah, uh, we do have water on the bottom. Okay. Uh, but there are no... Is... No, it's alright. Uh, where is the water level? Uh, I it's, see it uh, around it's... this cube. Yeah, you can see it on the small cube rise up and down. Yeah, it's about like five tiles off at the bottom. Low yeah, enough no that I'm gonna have to deal with it, but like, not yeah. terrible. You just wrote in the thread that you are good at doing ROM hack nonsense. Um, Dragon underwater, no quick kill, no problem. Yeah. So I um, hope that you don't choke and be able to show it off goes. Well. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna choke one sec. But you can you can mash out. Dragon is a boss that I really didn't understand when I first played the game. It's like sometimes it grabs you and sometimes it flies here and then when do I hit it? Is it just a timing thing? It's just really annoying. Yeah. It doesn't really kill you if you have a few tanks. It's just like, okay, do I ever get a chance to hit you? Not a great design. Yeah, it's, it's hard without gravity, but it is... Like, I mean, in the original, right? Uh, like the quick kill isn't obvious. No. I don't think. <laughs> and um, I, I appreciate they put it in, but it's not obvious for a first-time player. And then you have situations where, like this, where he's just like flying back and forth and back and forth. You're like, am I just supposed to time the shot while he's flying? Because obviously, while he's doing the gunk uh, stuff, getting hit by the gunk means that I also can't hit him. I didn't Hold go on, far on. enough to the side mm. to get the uh, to get him to start spinning the gunk early enough. Yeah, I remember you saying that in the thread. It is like 
there there is something you can do with it and manipulate the patterns and so on and you have some manner of control over the fight um but uh, overall i would say it's just not very well done or communicated so i'm quite happy that they moved away from a style of boss but it's a good effort i think it's pretty fine to play if you're just playing normally because you will have your gravity suit you'll be able to avoid stuff it's just the intricacies are learned as we as more and more people made like challenge versions of the of the boss yeah for sure Oh, I hope you can't hear that in the background. I can't hear anything. Very good, because our washing machine has just started the heavy rotation. Chosen armor with a Z. Okay. It's our gravity oh. suit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why there is no Varia, because they just uh, invented new suit. Guess so. Question but they could have. the only upgrade. They could have put Varia in here, but I guess there's no heat damage, so like... Yeah, I mean, why, why bother then? Well, it would have been nice for uh, damage, damage reduction, resistance. yeah. Mm. And uh, if you, t you told me that the original concept for this was that it's much more open, right, before the update. So I can see why A, they don't have random hot areas so that people are not incentivized to go on hell runs and make it even more open and or not, depending on how big the hell run is. Mm -hmm. And also um, the damage values, they are not very well calculated anyway. I guess they were just not interested in saying, okay, so you can't go to this area because A, you take too much damage, B, the, there's too strong enemies. Or the player goes like, yeah, but should I? That's part of the discussion we had last time, where it's not obvious if an area is just too difficult or if you are too bad at it. Yeah, and it's that's kind of like how it was. It. It's kind of like how it was when we did um, Subversion and we got to the Hive the first time. And it's like, yeah, I had low exactly. health and it's like, am I supposed to be here? That's I don't... also why I know the name of the Key Hunters, because <laughs> those were the big trouble enemies you were referencing um, and that is exactly it it's like if you trust the game to be well designed and give you an appropriate level of challenge then you also don't expect the game to ask you to do stuff that seems impossible at first glance yeah and it was it's really a just a it was really play. just a can uh, a thing where we had we didn't have enough health and as a result we're just like uh this seems a bit much but really, it turns I also out didn't we were able quite to dodge. understand what the issue with the key hunters was because you you gave up rather quickly. No, not that I'm blaming you, but I yeah. think that was just your own knowledge. Like, oh, I can't hurt them with this beam combination, and or uh, I would need much more super missiles for that. And I think I would have just used charge beams in a safe spot and just try to grind through it because I love charge beaming enemies. It was um, I think it was a case of like I said, low health, and they were doing like a full energy tank of damage. That too, that too. So it was like... Hey, official uh -oh. games do that too, like most fusion enemies do at some point. Yeah, that's true. But there's also a lot less damage reduction on the suits in fusion. Absolutely. No, uh, once again, not blaming you. I oh, sure. Understand that this is definitely a difficult thing yeah. for a designer to get right. Mm -hmm. It's a very hard it... tool to go like, oh yeah, you can't go through here because the enemies are too strong. Or I want to make a hostile area, but... Like, if you want to make a hostile area, but let the player get... You have to make the player go through it, then you got to really balance carefully. Yeah, exactly. There's also uh, something that I did notice when I was first playing Dark Souls and not com not used to how the game thinks. Uh, there were often a few enemies where I'm like, no, no way in hell is the game actually expecting me to do this, or I must be here early. Um, and sometimes that's true, um, like, for example, the, the Hydra in Darkroot Basin, um, where it's just like completely and utterly intimidating. And I think that's intentional because hmm. it's not that hard, actually. And you can easily block those heads, which is absolutely not intuitive. Ah, oh, this is how you get that. Cool. Yep. You um, gotta come out that way. No way to get into it otherwise. Uh, but we're done, with the, we're done in the Marble Shrine now. Cool. And uh, the armor is the last kind of thing we need 
frankly, it's, um, oh no, I wouldn't say it's it's unnecessary just because of the, the water stuff. I'm, I think there's more water below, but, um, it's, you just need the, uh, the four crystals, the four artifact crystals to get through to the end of the game. Yeah, I was actually going to ask you if you actually need, like, absolutely need the gravity suit for one of the artifacts, because we got two or three. I don't think you do when it comes down to it, because we got all the all the ones we got so far have not needed have not needed it. But I, I like I wouldn't go into the end of the game without it, because even if it's even if I don't need it for water stuff, the damage reduction is just too much. Yeah, gravity so suit, huge gravity suit, the, like it's, does it's unchanged, right? Yeah, it'll do a full seventy five percent damage reduction because mm. it's supposed mm -hmm. to stack fifty and fifty. Like that's the that's how it's supposed to look when you do it because Varia reduces by fifty and then gravity another fifty more, but um, they never really did that. It's just it just <laughs> gravity suit gives you all the benefits of Varia. So yeah, once much. again, something that never comes up in the original game. Yeah, but it's like it's an issue to the point. So, quote unquote, it's an issue to the point where we've got people who have done uh, patches to split the functionality. Hmm. I mean, it's less flexible, of course, when you try to make a really cool game with open progression, stacking differently, and so on. That palette is a bit garish, is basically the hex subtitle. It's true. I There was one point where I was like, Man, is it possible to make the palette in this game look a little better? And I like tried to repalette the uh, the opening room, and like it worked. I did it, but it's still it was just like it's not my hack to modify. So I didn't really want to sit there and like make big changes or or any or like yeah, submit it, a uh, hey like here's a it repalette. It seemed a little bit rude, like uh, submit the colorblind edition. <laughs> You could sell it as that accessibility. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Don't do that. There we go. Now I can awesome. climb these stairs. Oh, there's more of them. Can you free them? I don't think so. No, not the animals. Oh, they, these are freeing themselves. Have they traveled up the pipe to the right? Hmm. Interesting. Wonder what all the green stuff is meant to be. Oh no! <laughs> I understand now, I didn't want to. You've learned how the sausage is made. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are spikes on the ceiling there, too. Great. It turns out it's not salad. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a way in. I, I just gotta <laughs> must be if there's something you want. Maybe you have to get the food processor yourself? Yes. Mm-hmm. Or sort of. That's disgusting. <laughs> you can have a meat salad. I wasn't expecting this to turn into Master of Time. <laughs> but yes, meat salad indeed. As a German, I know very well. So it's like uh, very interesting regarding like the, the lore oh, oh, of this. Oh. oh, you can get in. I can get into um, that one. I mm -hmm. saw that power bomb in there. Yep. Yeah. If, if you want to to dive deep into the world building here, because, I mean, why not? It's environmental storytelling. You can think about it. You they can talk are, about that. They are animals. I mean... Mm, it's, it's, like, fine, but, I mean, this whole thing, as we established, is, like, basically completely abandoned. All the Chozos have been replaced and or turned into statues. So this is basically just killing animals and then letting the parts rot for no reason. Yeah. Because nobody here is going to eat the chicken salad. 
The question is, who captures them? How long have they been in there? Yeah, and how have they stayed alive for so long? Hmm. If only we had a scan visor. If only we had more lore. I want to know. <laughs> oh, there's Must an item down there too. I'm demanding this. Yeah, it has been there for a while, wasn't it? Also, power bomb. Maybe. Yes. Yep. I remember you uh, uncovering these blocks here. Oh, it is not a power bomb, but you need one. Very welcome, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something I missed is that uh, Fusion does throw energy tanks at you, uh, like 20 at the end. Yep, uh, the whole energy tank of damage is not a big deal in the end game. Uh, can happen a little bit earlier than the end game, though. Yeah. Nightmare is a real nightmare for fight because of that. I can get this one now. Yeah, I always forget how high you can actually jump with the spring ball. It's uh, it's the same as your normal jumps. Yeah. Which is it's different from other games. Other games don't exactly. do it. Yeah, because uh, in, in Fusion the Spring Ball is of course just mandatory, or rather it's packaged in with the high jump. And there it's just like the height of a bomb jump. And I never got the Spring Ball myself in, in Super Metroid. Because, you know, optional. Right. And therefore I don't have a lot of first-hand experience also, it's not like you um, particularly need it at any point. I did not know. And yeah, Yakuza is also really bad in fusion. Yeah. He's a That's really annoying. The, the heart emoji thing for the reaction is hiding one of the words of every person's chat message until the next I, person. I, I know, I noticed that. It's so bad. Anyway, 1% infusion. Yes, that is even worse, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a very crucial part of the information. Otherwise, it's like a toss-up with Nightmare or Yakuza is worse uh, for a casual playthrough. But for 1%, I can see it because Nightmare is very consistent to avoid once you get good at space jumping, which is not a given. And I have complained about it before on this stream. Alright. I'm gonna hit that save station one last time. And then we're gonna head down towards the end game. Because we've Ooh. gotten everything other than probably a couple of power-ups I've missed, which I don't care that hard. So we do have four artifacts, I forgot. Yes. Okay, cool. There was the one that the dude was holding. There was the one kind of in the very bottom right of the map in the Phazon Garden area near the Metroids. And then we picked up the uh, the two of them today, the one in the salad yes, room yes, yes. and the... I didn't know that we got two last time, but as I said, I wasn't paying attention at the end. I was kind of losing <laughs> it. <laughs> too much Metroid at once. Yeah. Right. But yeah, uh, Ports of Prime uh, and two, one and two. And the spring ball is bundled with the bombs, exactly, and you can flick the Wiimote. Yeah. That was because 3 had that, and they backported it. Yeah. Actually, that's, no, no, that's cool. That's the move that uh, everyone... That, that makes Spider Guardian easy for everybody. Yep. I did play 2 on, on GameCube, and uh, yep, yeah, I had a lot. I loved Spider Guardian. I never had a I problem. I like it too. I, I never had a was... problem with him as a kid. I had a problem, but I loved it. I thought it was so inventive. Uh, it taught me a lot about thinking this is great design, but also I suck at it and die a lot. <laughs> it is hard because there isn't really any health refill. Like that's the part that I'm sure yeah. everybody had the trouble with. And it's one thing. It's it's you have to figure things out under a lot of pressure because that thing is moving around. Yeah, and uh, it, it requires a lot of skills at once, basically. And uh, you have to time your bomb jumps. You have to be very careful with um, your left-right movement because the parts where you have to bomb jump on are sloped, so it's very easy to run off, and uh, all of that. And then you have to time it correctly so that you stun it, then do a bomb jump while it's stunned, and then activate the bomb ports. And it's like. Well, please, my man, that's a lot of things <laughs> you want me to do here while I'm still struggling hard. But awesome concept. 
I do think that uh, I do like Prime 2 personally a little bit more than 1 because it has uh, more inventive parts to it. Higher highs, basically. Lower lows, too. But... Missed opportunity to have the walking statue deposit you in the hands of the statue at the end of the hall. A little yeah. bit, but I think it's a. It tends to be tricky to line him up because he's a sprite and not a block. Mm. This looks really cool, by the way. The that that parallax sprite. hall is kind of cool, even if it doesn't really make much sense. Hello. Doesn't matter, it's cool. <laughs> ah. Okay. So you have to just wait. Yes, I can. Come from here. Make a short jump over the. Uh... Yeah, jump through the entire thing. Yeah, this one here that that doesn't make much sense. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, whatever, just hold right. <laughs> if I can hmm. jump through the transition, that's better. Yeah, I, I don't like these uh, carrying the shine spark through the uh, transition. Like, it always feels like the door is grabbing you a little bit too early. early. Speaking of early... Uh, no, I jumped too early. Oh, okay. It's an almost. Metro's there as a trap for you if you jump too far. Yeah, but you can't go through his wall. Yeah, I was about to say, we did test that. <laughs> It is another missed opportunity. Maybe it was originally like that, and then people were really hard compl complaining really hard. Because <laughs> I would, I mean, it's annoying enough to even nail that. I'm just doing a bad job here. The uh, the parallax is making a tough time of uh, like judging when the room is going to end. Yes. Mhm. Mm oh, that was just a bad jump. I did a tiny one. Not even a shine spark puzzle, right? You just have to do a boost jump. I jumped too high and I hit the ceiling. That is unnecessary. Like, this just shouldn't be. In my opinion, especially like pacing wise, you're just like, fuck yeah, I unlocked the end game. I got all of these things and now I'm in this cool hallway and the green mist and whoa. And now I have to spend half an hour here doing this idiotic puzzle. <laughs> like, just let, let the man go. progress. I'm immediately Metroided. Oh, so no, you, you are rewarded by Metroid to your face, regardless of what you do. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, if, if this was actually a uh, fusion, then you could just um, store the spark and start running again on the second slope. It almost seems like it was designed with that existing, but... Um, that does know. exist in super hacks these days, but actually it existed even back in um, redesign. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was a bit he... funky from what I oh. can recall. Well, most of those mechanics are rather funky. Oh, I see. I do like the detail that they, these are Metroid eggs that have partially opened. Yeah. And the Metroids, is, is it opening the floor tile here? Did I see that correctly? Yeah, he kind of broke out. Mm. Because I think the FPS of at least my Discord stream wasn't enough to really see that correctly. Ah. Otherwise it's crisp. The Metroids are flickering weirdly in this room. They flicker in general. Absolutely aliens vibes, yeah. Oh yeah, we don't have the X-ray, right? No, we don't. I think um I think the crystals replace the X-ray as tar as far as a power up. Yeah. So you do have to just power bomb them. Uh, I guess so. I mean, that is kind of a puzzle, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Delta V. <laughs> Whatever works. Oh, another one. 
I was honestly wondering if those uh, trapped in the wall would break out eventually as well using the true through tiles technology mm. that the other one exhibited. Uh, well, I was looking for a... Uh... It says that there's a, a room to the... Ro oh, there we go. Uh... Oh. Uh, okay. Puzzles within puzzles. There we and go. There it is. All right. I mean, that's kind of cool. <laughs> to look for your prey. I'm the hunter. Uh huh. That you are. The bounty hunter. Okay. Oh, there's another. Oh. There was an item hiding in there. I didn't even notice. Well, it's just a piece of the grass. <laughs> yeah, but a solid piece of the grass. Um, yeah. Absolutely, yes. Oh, there's another one so, hiding there. Uh, oh my god. I, I would never have seen that. But you heard it, right? I just kind of saw it flicker. Oh god. That's too much. Shouldn't have done that. The rest of the room was pretty cool. Anyway, explain yourself again why you're not getting 100% items. Why I'm not? Yeah. But considering how well some of them are hidden... <laughs> interesting puzzles. There we go. Inventive bomb this one tile. There must be something here. Technology. Okay, we're going to switch over to super missiles for this. Mm. Or not. Does that actually help? Oh. You still would need eight supers, I guess? They are immune to supers? Shouldn't be. That's bizarre. Yeah, that's an uh, important point Lorcatron uh, brings up. Uh, the Metroid room does suck if you don't have enough power bombs stocked up to kill all the Metroids behind the wall. Does it mean, do they respawn if you don't kill them all at once? I believe so. Yeah, they do respawn regardless, so it's an, it's an item check. Yeah, but the thing that confuses me is that that's the way to go. Like... Okay, there's this, but I'm. you need to go the other direction. Yeah, but that means that you have to have probably something like nine power bombs to be able to uh, get into the Sabotide room. Because there were three Metroids behind the walls. Just looking at the map. Uh, the Sabotides don't respawn, right? Uh... I think they do. Oh, so it's actually also a missile upgrade check and you need to go in there with maximum missiles? Okay, so I'm looking at what it is. I'm just looking at the room name, basically. And mm. what's through that whole corridor, down below where the Zepatite is, is the plasma beam. Okay. So I guess it's a, it's a missile check. Yeah, sounds like it. If the supers don't work, then it's a missile check. Great. Oh, they don't respond. Okay, so then we can get it. Yeah, cool. I thought that they did. Um, They're weird. Uh, They're not even called, like, regular yeah. sprites. Yeah, exactly. I do know that. That's part of, like, the room makeup itself. I almost had it anyway. Yeah, they come as a, a set of four in those specific locations, but they're called through, like, a sprite command, not actually... What the? Is that fake crate we sprited? Yeah. Cool. Golly. Huh. Oh, there's another one. Beat! Yes! Nice use of the after images. 
Did you know that the uh, the echoes there have a separate set of damage values compared to the uh, the actual speed booster? I think so, yes, uh, because I watched these um, Super Challenge hack video things. But yeah, and, the, uh, the, sh the Shine yeah, Echoes I... do a different set of damage. So is that an explicit alien reference? I forgot. I believe so. Oh, Prometheus? Maybe? <laughs> Haven't watched that one. Ooh. Okay. Right, that's background. The Shine Echoes have a damage value of yes. <laughs> oh god! Whom do we have here? So where is the plasma beam then? <laughs> ah, that's gonna actually kill me. Oh. Where's that's the? Uh, how nice. do I get through? There's the. There's how I get through. Oh, that's. Maybe terrible. it won't kill me. Maybe. Maybe it's not. There it is. I just had a feeling it would actually kill me because. I mean, I can understand. Uh, so it was very effective, atmosphere setting. Super Metroid jump scare. The question from the chat is, uh, isn't there something that crashes the game if you hit them with shine echoes? Or am I just thinking of how things get wacky when you hit the ninja pirates with them? Um, it might be that. I'm not sure about a crash from shine echoes. Also, the big Metroid is gone now. Good, good. Maybe not, maybe it's waiting behind the store. Oh my God. Yeah, I haven't heard any wake of any wackiness with the the pirates. What does it do? I'm not sure. Huh. Huh. Really easy to look up. Oh, this should go a little bit quicker, right? A little bit. They still have a lot of health. Well, a good reason to pre-charge your shots. Yes, indeed. So does the plasma beam here work as it does in fusion? I think it's in fusion where uh, it's actually that good because uh, while it passes through the enemy um, deals damage per frame. Um, plasma beam, I don't think it hits per frame, but it can hit more than once. So you see there's two, you might be able to see there's two white uh, flashes there. Yeah, you can there. see the flashes. Uh -huh. Because I, I think in fusion it's like uh, the longer it travels through the enemy, the better, and that's why it's actually kind of a slow moving sprite. That's why it's also like ridiculously good against Ridley, because yep. he's so huge. Exactly. Which I think is a pretty cool design in general, so that you're incentivized to make sure that all the three beams hit. In the sense that it, it makes intuitive sense, even though you might not know about, like, per uh, frame values. Yeah. Right, so did we have a plasma check anywhere? Or no. what did we gain from this, uh, progression-wise? For progression? No, nothing. Plasma can't oh. really provide a progression unless you make an enemy that can only be damaged by it. In most hacks, it's technically considered optional, but, like, everybody's gonna want it because, you know, big damage. Plasma is awesome, especially in, in Prime. Some of the best feeling moments to get the Plasma Beam in any video game. Yeah. yeah so just this room is progression and that's it. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so all the Metroid stuff you don't have to do unless you want the Plasma, so the check is not actually required, so that's okay. Yeah, seems that way. I think if you're doing like a low percent-ish speedrun thing, then you won't take the time to get the plasma anyway, so it's it's fair. 